Good afternoon, everyone. I'm James Cromwell, along with meteorologist Brett Thacker. We had one of those storms that, you know, we had a little bit of rain, a little bit of ice, a little bit of sleep. Yeah. A little bit of everything. It was a mixed bag. But and it wasn't too <clears throat> bad. No, I, I don't think so. And we, we never felt that it would be because of these marginal temperatures. Now, of right. course, if your sidewalks were iced up and you, you skidded your way down your driveway, you may think otherwise. But uh, on the whole, a lot of the main roads stayed wet. There were a few uh, uh, issues on the roadways, especially with on ramps and off ramps, the typical trouble spots this morning. But now we're starting to see this rain snow line lift to the north. The radar just looks like a mixed mess. But for the most part, it is raining because temperatures have, of course, climbed now above freezing. This is Lewistown, and we can see some sleet and maybe a little snow accumulation, just a, a dusting there on the rooftops and the, and the uh, grassy spots. But the roads basically clear, but the rain continues to come on down. In Lancaster, meanwhile, most of the day has been above freezing, so uh, the farther south you live, probably the more rain you got rather than anything frozen. Lancaster right now, for example, is 35 degrees, 33 in York and Harrisburg, 34 in Carlisle. Most spots now are at or above 32 degrees, so we expect the rest of the day to be cold but wet as we trend toward 40 degrees by this evening. The winds are starting to pick up out of the east as well, and we made mention of this earlier that this east wind was going to be a factor, especially as we move into the second half of the day and tonight. So what we can expect for the rest of the afternoon, mainly rain, there's still the chance that some wet snow and sleet could mix in to our north. I just don't expect much of it to accumulate. Rain showers then from 5 to 10 p.m. as temperatures continue to rise, and then overnight, more rain showers, and it does turn very gusty. We're going to keep uh, on, on top of this as we move into the evening commute, which we expect to be wet, and I think uh, Dan Tommaso is going to echo that. We're going to send things off to him right now. He is live in Hershey, a wet Hershey, and Dan, uh, we did see some ice uh, build up in spots this morning, but for the most part, a lot of the main roads just stayed wet. Yeah, and truly, Brett, I've been watching this since about 6, 6.30 this morning, and that's likely when we had temperatures at about 30 to 31 degrees here in Hershey, and I'm not far from the airport. The airport temperature was 32 degrees at HIA. Now, those numbers have climbed to about 33, 34, and already the bushes surrounding me don't have as much ice on them as they did, say, even a couple of hours ago. Meanwhile, some of the ornamental trees, too, have some thicker ice on them. So it's the cold surfaces we always talk about, not necessarily the roadways and even the sidewalk here were ice free and this was not treated the same thing with the driveway here. So that's the good news. If you have any travel plans here for this afternoon, things have improved. Now, as temperatures at the ground are above freezing, we actually do see some colder air up above us, Brett, and that could change over some of this precipitation to snow north of areas like Harrisburg. So we're not done with this complicated precipitation back and forth. We'll keep monitoring that. So a slushy couple of inches still possible for the higher elevations. And even this morning, Brett, those higher elevations did make a difference. Some reports of ice on Blue Mountain, but at lower elevations, say below 500 feet, we didn't have those issues. So again, one of these storms, we get them often in central Pennsylvania, warm air messes with things. This could have been an all snow event say a week or so ago in the forecast guidance, but we trended warmer, which is not a bad thing. It's limiting issues here today. And again, even at 34 degrees, it's a cold rain, but we're avoiding the ice concerns, at least here in Hershey. And as I mentioned at the airport in Middletown, James, let's send it back to you. And Dan, I'm curious, you know, you're talking about, you know, as the temperatures continue to rise throughout the evening, so that evening commute won't be as bad as the morning commute. Is there a chance as we get into the later hours of later tonight, could that turn back into freezing? Well, I actually think if we drop again, it's not going to be until the daylight hours tomorrow, believe it or not. There's enough pull with this system bringing warm air north that even for the evening commute tonight, if you encounter snow, that's one thing. But for the rest of us, I think rain and temperatures above freezing will kind of rule out. Very good. Dan Tommaso live for us there and Hershey. I love the umbrella. Thanks so much. We'll check with you coming up in just a little bit. And of course, you can stay up to date with the forecast with the ABC 27 weather app. It is free, gives you radar maps, severe weather alerts, and hour by hour conditions updated by our meteorologists right there on your smartphone. We're going to continue our live team coverage of this winter storm. Brian Munoz joins us live now in Lancaster with a closer look at the conditions there. How you doing, Brian? Uh, good afternoon, James. Mostly wet roads at the moment. Harrisburg all the way to Lancaster saw some icy, slushy, rainy uh, conditions uh, causing for some dangerous travel conditions this morning, just as PennDOT expected. 
Uh, not too long ago, PennDOT lifted most of the speed restrictions on its major highways, except for a portion of I-81. They say there wasn't significant snow anywhere in the, in the mid-state. The only place they had an incident was in Lancaster County, where a vehicle crashed into one of their plow trucks. The good news, the driver and the operator are doing okay. They expect freezing rain and rain to continue through the day and are monitoring conditions. For what we would consider our really our first winter storm, I mean, we had a bit of snow in um, November, but for our first snowstorm, I'd say that we actually did very well. We had no major crashes. Um, we had no equipment failure for us and manpower issues. We had enough staffing to be able to handle this. PennDOT says that you should be on the lookout for black ice on the roads, especially on overpasses and bridges that typically don't get sunlight. Coming up tonight at 5, we have more about the recommendations that PennDOT has if you do happen to be on the road, and we'll bring that to you live.